Hello and welcome back to the Schmuseum. Today we have a first, the first Pagani coming to visit the Schmuseum. You've met Mike before, haven't you? Yes, Brad? I have. Mike is a, a very eccentric man. He is indeed. I've driven quite a few of Mike's cars. Shin Mike in if you're not familiar. In fact, I've driven the very Pagani Huayra BC that he is coming here with today on the Nürburgring Nordschleife. He is a crazy person to let me drive that at the Nürburgring. I've driven his Apollo IE around Spa, but we've never previously had a Pagani here full stop. Yeah, we need to... It's changing slacking. up. Yeah, we we had the Zenvo when the factory Zenvo came. My Zenvo has never been here, which is a slightly ironic thing about all of this. The Koenigsegg, Passin, came with his Agera RS Naraya. Is that it for hypercars? Yeah, I think is it's it only the be. third, let's say, full hypercar? I know the Senna discussion goes backwards and forwards. Anyway, Mike's going to be here shortly. Before Mike gets here, we have a box here from Cyrusha. This is their XF900 electric bike, which we are going to endeavour to set up and drive around in circles on, right around like, the circles We on. need to make a track, that's what we need to do. We need to make like a track around the, that sounds dangerous. Anyway, we'll get that set up today, plus a couple of other things. Um, I'm probably right now supposed to be in the United States, which is a little bit confusing, but a last minute visit from Mike, well, he's here in London with his car, which I should emphasize, is actually registered in New Zealand. It has a New Zealand plate on it coming here. That's pretty wild. That's really so cool. So it's also the first New Zealand registered car to arrive here. Have we really had many foreign registered cars here? Not really. We must have had a couple. There'll be a few, definitely. The STO, not... the factory STO. Yeah, that was Italian. But not a whole lot of others. That's kind of crazy. Anyway, that's not the only car he's coming with, so stay tuned for the other one in a moment. But step one is probably to come and unbox the Cyrusha bike and hope that I can manage this. It's a really cool thing, actually. Um, they very kindly sent this over. This is the battery, by the way, which we have charged up in advance. So it's fully ready to go. Actually, let me put that on the chair over there for the moment. It comes with all the tools you need to set it up. Um, the bike is about 30 something kilos, but I now need to lift out of this box. Wish me luck. We've done it! Finally. Oh. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> That's a bit of a beast. And do you know what I'd like straight off the bat? The bright blue wheels. They have a choice of colors. Okay. It's not that surprising I went for blue. If anybody knows me and the bias towards One, blue. Two, three, four. There's definitely Five. some missing blue, the SF90, by the way. It's a Ferrari hospital, it was feeling a bit sick for the sixth time since I've owned it. That's one for another day. Anyway, mm. we're gonna try and get this fully unpackaged. It came with a toolbox, which we must have put in there. pop this over here. We don't need the box anymore. I wanna start. This I'm looks like a, a pretty crazy bit of kit. Is this where we read instructions or we just go for it? <laughs> we, given what it is, it's not just Ow. a standard. <laughs> It's not just a standard bicycle, we probably read instructions. Although you'd like to think it's fairly self-explanatory, maybe. Look how big these tires are. 26 by four inches. So obviously we've got to assemble the handlebars. We've got to quick release on the front wheel. We've got hydraulic brakes. The motor, by the way, is seriously powerful. It's an assisted e-bike. You have hundred kilometers, 62 miles of range up to a top speed of 45 kilometers an hour, 28 miles an hour. That's ridiculous. That's really ridiculous. That's probably faster than your 1.2 your <laughs> Clio. <laughs> zero to 60 or zero to 30? Should we give it a go? Maybe that's what that we should do That sounds like later. a race. We should, yeah, we should find somewhere we can race this versus I'm not sure the, the weather right now is particularly friendly for going outside, but. No, that's true, that's true. Maybe another day. Oh, there we go, have a wheel. Thank you. <laughs> that's chunky. I take a wheel. I wonder what it looks like next to the Senna. New wheel for the Senna, Tim? <laughs> the colour's quite similar, isn't the it? The colour's not bad. Cerulean blue, Cyrusha bike. Um, obviously, you've got the front forks, you've got rear suspension as well. I'm trying to guess how long it's going to take. I reckon about half an hour we'll have this up and running. Yeah, I'd like to think so. That kind of thing. I think it's safe to say that we're not bike building experts, but... Really? It, sh it should be okay. I don't think I've ever put a bike together in my life before. I don't know if I have. To be honest quite the that. opposite of an expert. Tell you what, though. If we're able to do it, it shows how easy it is. Have you bent the scissors? Yeah, the, the plastic on the inside there's gone. Oh dear. Can't cut with them anymore. We're not following the instructions, are we? Everything we said we would do, <laughs> we definitely haven't done so far. Right. I'm gonna go ahead and show the instructions. This is how you put together this. Instructions. You need to undo the top bolt and the side bolts that you're doing now. Also, you know we were struggling to get it out of the box a little bit. Yeah. If we'd read the instructions, they would have shown you how to open it properly. 
by okay, yeah, cutting typical. cutting all the edges and it folding open for you. Okay, typical. So basically we made it more difficult for ourselves. Sorry to the person who wrote out that wonderfully helpful instruction yeah. book that I proceeded says, to ignore. You can assemble it in 40 minutes. So 40? Yeah, that's not bad. 40 minute video, guys. <laughs> okay, so we've done those. We need to now loosen this one. Teamwork makes the dream work. There we go. Okay, so that's handlebars roughly in place. Now we just yeah. have to do it loosely so we can adjust and... It has all twist. sorts of like measurements and movements and stuff, which is kind of cool. At least we are following the instructions. Yeah. I know a certain member of the Museum who's not here who definitely wouldn't be. <laughs> Agreed. Agreed. <laughs> E-bike assembly. Are we all good? Yeah, I think so. That needs to be tight for sure. Yeah. We don't want a front wheel falling off. Okay, that's good. So... Headlight. Yeah, we should spin it around a bit more. Mike's going to get here and be like, what on earth is going on? <laughs> yeah, he's going to come through the door and be like... Hold on. This has to go in there as well. Whoops. Easy peasy. I'm like, is Mike here? I mean, we would hear the Pagani arriving outside. We would, yeah. But... How, how long is it until he arrives? I don't know. <laughs> I don't have his location. I guess not long. Okay, pedals are on. We've got a pump, but we've also got our amazing pump. Yeah, we might have to go get our Makita. Just borrow the Makita pump. Plater, and that will do it to the exact PSI we need. This says, please keep away from children. Oh, <laughs> that's dangerous here. Please keep away from children. Mm, not sure if we're going to be able to succeed. I pulled the tab. Therefore, it's committed. <laughs> oh, that's a bit high for me. <laughs> Hang on, I'll help you out. <laughs> we're letting it off. Let me try and find that inflator as well while we're here. Where would we have put it? Was it as expected in some weird position? It might have been. But I found it, so that's good. Have you looked at what the tyres are supposed to be? Uh, let me see. Max inflate to 20 PSI. So we're going to 20 PSI. A few minutes later. I can hear, I can hear a car. I can hear a Pagani. <laughs> I think we can hit a Pagani. Unless, yeah, otherwise it'll Bail out, else. bail out, bail out. Welcome, the Wire of BC, and I've gone to the wrong side. <laughs> to the shoes here. Come in, Mike, come in. <laughs> this thing looks wild. How cool is that? New Zealand plate here. Got to work out where to put it. We've actually got quite a bit of room now. We've put some cars in. <laughs> neighbors calling the police on us they're gonna be like who's firing gunshots over there welcome oh. good to see you again you too <laughs> been a while yes god that thing is so loud that's first like, time inside right like in first here. time you hear it inside it's always been oh, outside sure. um did we film this car at your place in california at that time it wasn't straight piped it wasn't yet straight piped yeah it's only the LaFerrari at the time that's crazy so this car i've been out with you in it in california yes in Germany. Yes. You're here in the UK. Yeah. It's been to New Zealand. Yeah. It's going back to New Zealand, actually. That's crazy. This car has been to multiple continents. Yeah. It's the first Pagani that's ever been here. Well, I'm honored. <laughs> Zenvo, Koenigsegg, my cars, of course, but the first, first ever Pagani. Pagani. BC, straight piped. That thing's so loud in here. I thought the alarms would go off because the, the little Clio is super delicate. Like it, it's- um, Very sensitive with sound. Yeah, it's a sensitive little one. And um, I figured that that might have set it off, but thankfully not. Oh yeah, welcome. Now, that's not the only car you've come with. No. <laughs> so we should probably pull the other one in as well. Okay. <laughs> Obviously you have to bring your luxury with you. Yes. This is not normal. <laughs> this is not normal. The Mercedes Maybach S600 Pullman, the granddaddy of luxury, the ultimate in limousine. Look at that thing. <laughs> That's so cool. Oh, it's an S650, of course. Yes, yeah, the facelift one. Okay. Should have known. <laughs> All the cars in here. And we're coming straight to have a look at first. So you've seen the bright orange one before, right? The last Elise yes. with the plate final. 
Yes. That's yeah. the same owner as this car. This was his first ever car, hence the plate, first. Okay. Had it and completely final. rebodied with the full exposed carbon, the super dark tint, like you guess. I can't on. really see. I can't see at all. Like I, the I, I know I can see. It's like the, the Bugatti ones. Yes, exactly like the Bugatti ones. The whole body is done. Oh, yeah, yeah. With the exposed light. Exposed carbon. Yeah. The entire body of it. It's so cool. Oh, wow. That was his first ever car. <laughs> and he still owns it. He sold it and bought it back and has fully restored it at Lotus. Okay. It's one of only 31 in the world. And it's stored here. And it's living here for now with, okay. with the orange one, which was the final Cup 250, the last Lotus Elise. Wow. It's quite fun. Like so little. First, final. final. Where's the middle one? <laughs> yeah, where's the middle? Where's what can the, the middle? middle plate be? So, how long have you had these two cars here? The BC, I brought it back in London last month. Okay, because it was only, I want to say, in August that I drove with you on the ring with this. Yep. That wasn't very long ago. Yeah. Because we actually met, I think, for the first time ever was here in the UK. Yes. But that yes. was the last time we met here in the UK. Many years ago at Goodwood. Oh, that was a long, 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 I think that long, was the first long, time, long time we'd time ever ago. met. Yeah. Then we caught up at your place in California. Yep. A couple of times. Many, many times. <laughs> and then obviously around Europe, in Italy, through the tunnels, when yep. Brad got deafened as well by <laughs> you with your 812. <laughs> Germany. Obviously with this car, with all of the events with Marcus and the ESSA team, yeah. everything with all of those guys. Um, but finally you're here. We talked about you coming here for a of while. Of course, yes. With the BC, with this. This is, <laughs> <laughs> this is so long. <laughs> like you need a special license for it, right? Not in UK actually. No? Yeah, the UK drive license, you can drive up to, I think seven tons. Okay, yeah, so... with the new, they changed the rules. This thing's like a house. It's literally a house. Yeah. What's it like inside? Oh, I just need Oops. to unlock it. <laughs> Have a look. I mean, you've got all the curtains over at the moment. It's like yeah. complete privacy. What's, oh, that's, that's just showing off. Step in. New team car? <laughs> What's that? We'll have to borrow it from you as our like rally team car. Yeah. This Better is we need to sleep on the road. For long, um, let's say trips. What's the SOC next year? So, this will be... Gumball 3000 next summer? <laughs> <laughs> Possible. <laughs> I heard Gumball 3000 next is in Europe. It is indeed. Can I, can I sit and of take course. a seat inside? Right, we're straight into the lying position. Can this fold up? Yeah. But this is like my uh, footrest. Okay, so yeah. So you can go all like, just fully lay down. <laughs> I don't want my shoes on your uh, lovely light interior. This is nice. This is, this is bigger than some people in London have for their entire apartment. No way. <laughs> <laughs> so do you prefer, if you're going between London and Dusseldorf, let's say, would you prefer to fly or go in this? Go in this. Yeah. That's how I came. Yeah. <laughs> Just chill. Driving it or being driven in it? Of course, being driven in there. Is there like an automatic door? Do yeah, you? inside. Okay. Not outside. Some magic button in here somewhere. Yeah, just hold it. This button on the I side. I don't know where it is. <laughs> you can see it. Oh it? yeah, it's oh, yeah. there. But you're going to be inside I'm the car. I'm going to trap myself. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't work. Anyway. Oh, that's so, that's so nice. That's so cool. <laughs> of my cars, yes. you've obviously seen the SLS because yes. I had that at the same event. We drove this at the Nürburgring. You saw the Ford GT because we drove together in we did that USA. convoy around Beverly Hills, yes. around Rodeo Drive and stuff. We basically shut down Rodeo Drive. That was crazy. <laughs> I, what were you driving that day? I was driving, I took this one. It was this, you were driving this and car. And the LaFerrari. The LaFerrari and then two Bugattis, I think. My friend's wire roaster at the time. Yes. It was pr pretty new. And, and a then the Chiron. Yeah. I was in his Chiron, which is the worst decision of my life. Why? I got sunburned that day. It was so sunny and then... Oh, well. Yeah. I should have <laughs> taken this instead. Yeah. Rely on having a roof then. Yeah, I guess everything else is kind of, kind of new, kind of different cars. Yeah, that's... Did I ever come by you with the GT500? No, because no. you were over in Europe when I did my tour with that. Yes, yes. That's funny. And you just came back. I've just imported it to the UK as we were Plated. just talking about registration. Yeah. I've just registered that in the UK. So that's now a UK car. Do you know much about this? No. So this is a Jaguar XJ220S. Yeah. There are only nine S's, six originals, then three that were done also in the 90s, but mm -hmm. after delivery. This is one of those three. Mm -hmm. It has 700 horsepower and it only weighs 
1,100 kilos. Power to weight is ridiculous. This for, the car, for the error, yeah. For the this, er this car belongs to Max Cooper, founder of Gumball 3000. Oh, okay. So that's stored here with my car in its Gumball livery. Yeah. And there's going to be another Gumball car around soon that I can't tell too much <laughs> about yet. Okay. All liveried up, but it's quite a cool thing. So he asked if he could store it somewhere and I was like, yeah, sure, we'll have it here. It's awesome. Same mm -hmm. as like the Lotuses and the TBR belongs to uh, some friends of ours at a company called That's a Customs. really funny TBR. I don't it's think I've ever seen this TBR ever anywhere. Tiny little thing sitting underneath Brad's car up above. Brad's little Abarth 124. Okay. <laughs> which is hidden away. We need to fix the number plate on the Clio. <laughs> it's popping off. That's not good. You don't want a number plate to fall down on another car. I heard that could be a problem. Technically, this is going to be the third country that I've driven this car. And when I say drive it, I'm just going to repark it. That's still pretty cool though. It is pretty cool. Slide on in. Wow. The things we do for a good photo. I know. But it's always worth it in the end. Always worth it in the end. Yep, finger in the ear for that. Thanks for deafening me. Pleasure. It's, it's quite loud even in here. It's very loud. <laughs> We're coming to check Surprising. out Surprising. Yeah, the collection upstairs okay. that you haven't seen. <laughs> Wait, I should probably have been in front so I could see your face. <laughs> It'd be like, what on earth? What? <laughs> my oversized big swatch collection what okay no hey you like collecting stuff yes there's nothing wrong with collecting stuff yes but this is a different collection i You're like probably it. the only person i know collects this now believe it or not the other day i met somebody yeah. on an airplane who was wearing a swatch and i spoke to them about them and they also collect these big swatches which was just crazy has about the same number as i have Wow. What's happening for the moment, if I don't get run over, is that Mike's going to leave the car here. Looking nice and pretty in our lineup. Da -da 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 -da. Stop. Perfect. So the BC is actually going to be spending a night at the Sh Museum, which means when I go cycling in a moment, I need to be doubly careful. How cool is that? It fits in so <laughs> it well feels with like the it lineup. Belongs. I just want the Zembo here. Yeah, that'd be that'd cool. That'd be the icing on the cake. Coming soon. Coming very soon. It's time for Mike's departure. Come on, I've got to get the door for you. All right. Thanks thank for coming. So much. <laughs> All right. Good to see you. You at too. At your own home base. Thanks Bye. for coming by. All right. I'll see you again next time somewhere. Mike goes off into luxury. <laughs> oh, you can press the button. I don't even need to close the door. Yeah. Nice. See you, Mike. <laughs> Smooth. <Ball> somewhere. <laughs> the curtain. Oh, yeah. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> Very cool. Lovely. What a beast this thing is. I feel like we should go for a whole team ride in this car with Mike at some point. 100%. That would be fun. Full, 100%. Full kind of crazy limo thing. One thing I'd really like to show you is this book by Rio Cam. Now, Rio Cam has a completely unique style of fashion photography. I was aware of his work prior to meeting the first time, which was actually a couple of months ago at an event in Paris, but this book is really wonderful. There are some amazing things, the crossover of cars and fashion, and you can see on the front with the Countach just there. Completely unique style. You've probably seen some of this work in various places before, but some epic cars. Cento Dieci, 911 GT1, amazing things to shoot with. Really, really cool book and photography as well. Colorful, unique cars, some perhaps a little bit graphic, but all sorts of different things. That's the full carbon Enzo. As you can see, some really, really, really cool stuff in here. So big shout out to Rio Cam. If you'd like to see more of this stuff, definitely check out his work and more of the different things as well. That's a lovely piece to have here at the Museum. With the Pagani safely parked out the way, it's time to have a go with this because we've just been inflating the tires. Yep, with our Makita inflator. It's, it's, it's all sound. ready. So basically it's a case of popping the battery on, locking it in place, yeah, turning so it on and you get to go. Advantage of being able to take this off is that you could technically have two batteries. And yep. then when one's dead, you just immediately swap to the next one. It can we, slides Can we in. give a public service announcement as well? If you are using a bicycle out in public, we highly recommend wearing a helmet and whatever protective gear you should have. And following respective 
laws because certain countries have yeah. different rules. So that's on. Do we have... Yeah, lights, lights blinking on? back there. Let's have a look. Cool. So if we press the front light... I know, maybe I need to turn it on. So you press and hold that, turn it on. Yep, well, screen screen's on. Screen's up. And then light we have a light. On. Cool. And the other button. So, wait for it. <laughs> it's really loud from close up, isn't it? <laughs> England! <laughs> yeah. Um, so, you need to get stand on, on here. Yeah. Hold on, so we have different different modes, right? We should have a look so, at this. So, this is where, if I go down, this is like you're doing it yourself. And then you have various different speeds. Oh, look, and it said eco standard power. Yeah, I'm going to start on... Okay, wait, just to... Go, okay. Tim. And it's not going to be the easiest of cycle, I guess, because it's got some quite thick tyres. Yeah, I mean, this is for driving across the farm. We're on a farm. Okay, so one. Oh, yeah, that's... Ooh, okay. I can hear it from here. Yeah, yeah, off. Easy. Just, so that just gives you a little bit of boost as you cycle, essentially. Yes, it's assisted effectively. So while you're cycling, you cycle super gently, and this is 12 kilometers an hour across the garage. Okay, this is five. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's actually quite, that's 20 kilometers an hour. So the funny thing is it goes more than double that. Wow. Oh. Don't hit anything. <laughs> it's not hit a supercar. Why is it raining? I don't know, it's a bit wet, it's a bit go. cold. <laughs> no. <laughs> I really want to go. Brad's turn, that's normally dangerous. What mode are we in? Oh, there we You're go. You're in one. Nice. Easy, off you go. I want more power, I can't see. <laughs> <laughs> I pressed the wrong button. It's quite quick, isn't it? Yep. <laughs> oh my goodness. Go. He's gone. Ow. You having fun there? It, <laughs> you definitely don't want to accelerate as you're turning. No, you need to be in a straight line because it kicks up instantly. I mean, electric instant yeah, torque. Yeah, I just, just found like, that out at the back of the farm. Yeah, just like um, a I'm very cold, but it's actually really cool. I mean, you're just wearing a t-shirt in winter in the drizzle outside. Yeah, but this thing's cool. So I can this come is quite and, fun. I can get the door for you and you can cycle straight in. One Bradley incoming. Hello. <laughs> Isn't it amazing how easily it works? And it's got 100 kilometers range with that assisted cycling. Oh, just crazy. You could go with that. That's fun. Like, like, well, way further than my commute. That's yeah, crazy. And mine. Crazy, I, crazy. I really want to test it. It's the wrong, like, it's the wrong weather to test in. We're in winter. Yeah. But it's got big, like, off-road knobbly tires, kind of. I feel like it would work. This is cool. So massive, massive shout out to Cyrusher because this is awesome. We haven't yet installed the, um, what do you call it? The throttle. Yeah, throttle. You could put this on here. Uh, I'm just going to give it, this is not safe, is it? Let's Tim, see. that's not safe at all. Don't aim, aim at the wall up there. No, no, this is very safe. Oh so no. I've got so a, literally a throttle pedal. Have you got enough brake? <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm barely feathering it. <laughs> it's like driving a supercar in the sense of the throttle pedal having very little movement. Mike, don't worry, I'm protecting the BC. I'm just going to stand right here. <laughs> this is in one, by the way. If I go up to three. Oh yeah, does it give you more power? Yeah, this is probably going to be quite scary. <laughs> and the fact you can only use your front brake right now, just don't pull it too hard. No, no, I've got both. Okay, go. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm about to open the door up and you're going to go outside again. Are you in five? This is four. Obviously it builds it up a bit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I don't go any faster indoors. Just in case I can't break. I say that, I'm obviously going to do it. You ready? I'm ready. Go, full throttle. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is cool. It's the build up of speed indoors that I'm um, just very aware of. So, we've built our e-bike. There's a Pagani at the Schmuseum. And we're staying at the Schmuseum. That wasn't, that wasn't planned, by the no, way. No, that was very random. It was, could the car <laughs> stay here? And it's like, I mean, yeah. Yeah, why not? If anybody ever wants to leave cool cars here, I'm down for that. The Jag, the Huayra. TBR, Elise. Brad's car, yeah. two Elises. My car, yeah. Fiesta WRC. Yep. 
Anything else right now? Not right now. Cars arriving, which you've teased that. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Another fun day, really, at the Shrew Museum. I think that's it for now. Is it? I think that's we it. We done? Yeah. Until next time.